The architectural world has been revolutionized in the last few years by the arrival of a remarkable modeling technology known as 3D printing. CAD Venture Limited, based in London and Sirencester, are a leading exponent of 3D printing using the Z-Core 3D printer. We went along to meet CAD Venture and find out more about them and this extraordinary modelling solution. CAD Venture's uh, been going since 1989 and we've been, uh, we came from a, a graphics background. Um, all the people within our company are architects or, or have been architecturally um, involved or active in the graphics industry itself. And we are a company that's always been uh, a hands-on company, so the products we sell are things we've either used in the past or that we choose by choice for the things that we're doing ourselves. Tell me about the services that CADVENTURE offer. We have several things. We're a training company, a software supplier, a consultancy on those products that we supply, and we also sell 3D printers and do bureau work for those. Why did you choose to distribute and sell the Z-Core 3D printer? We've been looking at a number of rapid prototyping technologies in, 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 whilst we were exploring what was available in the market. And I think the Z-Core 3D printer stood out shoulders above the rest of them. We were looking for a ma machine that was affordable and could produce fast product for our architectural community. And the Z-Core one was the only one that really came up to that uh, requirement. One of CAD Ventures' clients is London-based architectural firm Shepherd Epstein Hunter who've been using the Z-Core printer for some time. One thing which has been really beneficial is that it's enabled us to uh, produce models very quickly. Um, so if we do have um, a competition or um, an interview with a client and we've done a basic design for it, it enables us to quite, quite quickly produce a model. Um, so we could be working up to the evening before the interview or competition um, interview and then produce the model in 3D printer overnight and it enables the client to um, to really visualise the building in 3D or, the, or the, the concept for the scheme in 3D. You can pick up minute details and particularly repetitious details very quickly so if you were making a manual model for example of this building you'd have to produce 400 separate windows whereas within as you're sending it through as a computer model it would do that all in one go so it would produce that in about a couple of hours and manually it would take you a lot longer. For example, this, this model of a, um, of a balustrade um, is, is very intricate and has um, numerous verticals with very small openings between them and the handrail mounted behind, and that's something we wouldn't have been able to produce, and certainly not in that sort of accuracy and level of detail. What we're trying to do is make model making something that you don't think about, do I need to do it? It's why wouldn't I do it? because if the cost of producing that part is as cheap as it is, then you would do it without hesitation. If you go to a model maker, they'll make you a great model, but there is a cost involved. And there was something that happened recently. We had um, a client who was pro looking at perhaps buying one of our machines and our largest machines. And the amount of money that the machine cost is what he paid the model maker to make the model that he required for the project. And I think that kind of sort of sums it up. The, modic, the model he, the model makers made was brilliant. But what we're talking about is having on a day-to-day -day basis something that you can actually just stretch out to and initiate a, a model relatively straightforwardly. The colour um, capability enables us to be able to um, quite intricately colour elevations. Often this is used in a more diagrammatic way for... Um, for clients to see which materials would be um, applied where on elevations. But it, um, we, have, we have sort of been experimenting with different ways of doing this, apply, printing a white model and applying colour later. Um, but it is, it is useful for getting, uh, getting ideas across. It's very easy to use. It's just like your standard sort of printer. So rather than just sending through a print um, such as a Word document, you're sending through a 3D model through to this um, the 3D printer. With the designs, changing as fast as they often do within a practice, you know, the, the, the criteria can mutate within the day, within the hour. It's not untypical for the architect to need to change something at short notice and need that same model ideally, if he can, for a meeting or a briefing, perhaps the next morning. With this printer, that's a realisable event. They can actually work up to the line, uh, submit a print, pretty much as you might do a laser print uh, to a printer, and in the next morning they have a result which they can bring to the table and show the client. That has fed through to the design quality. 
because now we produce maybe five or six models for a project, whereas before it would perhaps just be one. Literally, within hours of being shown how to operate the machine, you can be producing parts. And I think that really sort of says it all.